guys welcome back to my youtube channel in today's video we are going to be learning how to make the coco chanel inspired um bucket hat i know i've done some projects with a uh, uh, hound's tooth stitch before and uh, i would like to give you an accessory for that for um the projects that we've worked on before and here we are this is my very first time trying it out and I wanted to give it a go with you guys so let's begin so for the materials I'm going to be using chunky yarn this is white and then a black yarn still chunky a 3.75 millimeter crochet hook a measuring tip I'm going to be using this to uh, give you the general measurements of my hat and then a tapestry needle to weave in your ends and that's it that you'll need so let's get started so i'm going to start off with my black yarn we shall introduce white later but for now we're going to be starting off with our black yarn and uh, you're going to make a slip knot and you're going to chain up six so after your six chains you're going to slip stitch into the very first chain that you made so this has formed a ring and you're going to chain up one and place a total of 10 half double crochets in this ring that we formed so yarn over insert your hook pull up a loop yarn over pull through all so that's one we want a total of 10 half double crochets so two three four five six seven eight nine and ten so we have a total of ten half double crochets and you're going to make a slip stitch into the very first half double crochet that we made so here make a slip stitch there so that marks the end of round one so round two you're going to chain up one and place two half double crochets in that very stitch so one and two and continue to place two half double crochets in each and every stitch all the way around so you should have a total of 20 half double crochets at the end of round two So two half double crochets in each half double crochet below. So since round one had 10 half double crochets, round two should end with a total of 20 half double crochets. So I'm going into my very last stitch with a total of two half double crochets so after this you're going to go into the very first half double crochet that you made and make a slip stitch that marks the end of round two so we are going to round three and for round three you're going to chain up one to bring up your yarn and then you're going to place two half double crochets in that very stitch so one and two and then one half double crochet in the next two half double crochets in the next one half double crochet in the next and that's the repeat for this row two and then one two and then one so go all the way around repeating this
So we are almost coming to the end and I'm placing two half double crochets in my second last stitch and then one half double crochet in the very last one. And then you're going to go into the very first half double crochet that you made and make a slip stitch. So we're going to round four and for round four you're going to chain up one to bring up your yarn and then place two half double crochets in the very first stitch and one half double crochet in the next two stitches one and then one in the next so the repeat for this round is two one one so two in the next one in the next and one in the next two in the next one in the next and one in the next so that's the repeat for this round so go all the way around repeating this So I'm almost coming to the end of round four and uh, I'm going to place my one half double crochet in the second last stitch and one half double crochet in the very last stitch. Then I'm going to go into the very first half double crochet that we made with a slip stitch. So we are going to round five. You can see it's a flat circle. So for round five, you're going to um, chain one to bring up your yarn two half double crochets in that very stitch so two and then one half double crochet in each of the next three stitches so the repeat for round five is two one 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 so two in the next then one in the next one in the next and one in the next then two in the next one in the next one in the next and one in the next so keep doing this all the way around until you get to the beginning of the row so i've come to the end of my fifth round and i'm going to place a slip stitch in the very first half double crochet that we made and we're going to round six and for round six you're going to chain up one and then place two half double crochets in the very first stitch and then one half double crochet in each of the next four stitches so one two three and four so the repeat is two, one, 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 one. So I hope by now you've noticed the trend, the flow of the pattern. The stitches in the middle of the increases keep increasing per row. So two in the next, then one in the next four. One, 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 and one. And then do an increase. So two in the next. Then one, 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 and one. So go all the way around repeating this. And I'll meet you back at round seven. So I'm done with my sixth round. And for round seven, nothing is going to really change. You're just going to go with the flow of the pattern. So chain one, two half double crochets in the very first stitch. So two. And then you're going to go into the next five stitches with one half double crochets. Five. 
so the floor of uh, round seven is uh, two one 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 so after this you increase again two in the next and then one half double crochet in the next five stitches two three four and five and repeat this all the way around until you get to the beginning of the round so we are done with uh, round seven and we're going to slip stitch into the very first half double crochet that we made and now we're going to round eight so chain up one two half double crochets in the very first stitch and then one half double crochet in the next six stitches so one two three four five and six and then do an increase so two half double crochets in the next and then one half double crochets in sorry one half double crochet in the next six stitches so that's the repeat for this round so go all the way around and I'll meet you guys back at round eight sorry a round nine because this is round eight so right now we are done with round um, eight and we are going to round nine so this is going to vary depending on the size of your head I'm going to just do the basic uh, bucket hat and this uh, measures seven inches across and this uh, is for a normal adult so if you have a bigger head then you may consider adding one round if you have a smaller head you may consider taking off one round so if you the normal size which is around 22 inches circumference 21 to 22 inches this will be perfectly fine for you so uh, for round nine we are going to do something different you're going to chain up one and then we are going to be going into the back loop the two back loops at the back so prepare for a half double crochet and go into the two half the two back loops they are those loops at the back it's not the normal dub, um, half double crochet we are going into this one on this side and then the one beneath it and do a half double crochet and then go into the next I hope you can see that I'm not going into the normal half double crochet I'm going into the back loop and then the loop beneath it so we have two loops here so you're going to do that all the way around we are not doing any more increases we are just doing um one stitch in each and every half double crochet but working into the back loops so go all the way around placing one half double crochet back loop only And I'll meet you guys back at round 10. So we're coming to the end of round 9 and I'm placing my very last half double crochet back loop and then I'll go into the very first half double crochet that I made and make a slip stitch. So we're going to round 11 One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Sorry, round ten. So uh, you're going to chain up one and do the same exact row that you did for round 
nine. So back loops. So keep placing one half double crochet back loops only. I'm saying loops because we are getting two strands at the back. So go all the way around doing this and I'll meet you back at round 11. So I'm coming to the end of my round 10 and I'm placing my very last half double crochet and then slip stitching in the very first half double crochet that we made. So you should notice a curve in your heart at this point. It's no longer a straight circle. We've started curving it to form a heart. So the next thing that I'm going to do after my slip stitch here, I'm going to pull my yarn so that it's long enough. And I'm going to pass my hand through here like this. And I'm going to grab this ball of yarn and pass it through and I'm going to fasten off the, the black color and at this point we are going to be introducing white so grab your white yarn and um, you're going to turn your work to the opposite side so we've been working in only one direction but for from now on we are going to keep turning our work for the next uh, number of rows, I'll be letting you know how many. So we've been working in this direction. So you're going to turn your work onto the inside part. This is the wrong part of my work. And I'm going to be introducing the white color. So I'm going to slip stitch, make a slip knot. And I'm going to attach my hook in this second stitch here. Here. I'm going to attach this and then I'm going to chain up one and single crochet in that very stitch so single crochet there then double crochet in the next single crochet in the next and double crochet in the next so keep doing that all the way around so don't mind this we shall deal with that later so just keep working single crochet double crochet all the way around So I've gone all the way around and I've placed a single crochet here and make sure you always end your row with a double crochet. We always start with a single and always end with a double. So after this you're going to go into the single crochet that you made, make a slip stitch but you're going to pull your yarn through like this and then put your hand through and get your ball of yarn and fasten off this color so this is my white color I'm going to just pull it through sorry make sure you're very careful with this so that it doesn't get twisted so after this you're going on to your next row and we should be working in the opposite direction from the previous row so you're going to turn your work to this side and then I'm going to just put my hook through and pull this to the back side of the hat so I'm going to get this yarn so you can see we ended our row with a double crochet and that will be our very first stitch for our next color so you'll put your hook through the double crochet attach chain one single crochet 
in that stitch and then double crochet in the single crochet so we are alternating between single crochet and double crochet sorry for the noise so every double crochet will get a single crochet and every single crochet of the previous row will get a double crochet so go all the way around doing that so this is a double crochet it will get a single crochet and this is a single crochet it will get a double crochet so go all the way around until you get to the beginning of the round so we are coming to the end of round 12 and I'm placing my very last stitch which is a double crochet I told you we always end with a double crochet and then we shall slip stitch into the very first single crochet that we made and then pull through you pull this loop to be big enough to accommodate your ball of yarn then pass through your ball of yarn completely and uh, you fasten off this color and then put it to this side and we are going to be working with our white yarn now don't forget to always turn your work to the opposite side you get your white yarn put your hook through this last double crochet that we made attach chain one single crochet in that very stitch and then double crochet in the single crochet single crochet double crochet single crochet double crochet so you should notice that the double crochets are longer these are the long ones these are the double crochets so they get single crochets and then these shorter ones are the single crochets so they get double crochets so we're going to keep repeating this until a certain number of rows that I'll be letting you know um, you're going to keep working that until the distance from here from the time we introduced the white up to down here is uh, three and a half to four inches so I'm going to keep working mine until I have about four inches in length I'll be letting you know how many years that I did all right so I worked my hands to the stitch until I had a total of 19 rows right from the beginning so I have a total of 19 rounds sorry not rows they're rounds and this is how everything looks like so at this point I finished my 19th round with white and I'm going to just pull like this then I pass through the ball of yarn and this time I'm going to disconnect the white yarn so I've gotten rid of the white we no longer need it so you're going to turn your work just like we've been doing and we're going to be working in the opposite direction and this is the outside part of my work so we're going to be working in the opposite direction from the previous row so attach your yarn your black yarn like we've been doing for the hound's tooth stitch and this time we are going to do a plain row of half double crochets all the way around so half double crochet in each and every stitch all the way around using your black yarn so let me go all the way around and I'll meet you guys when I'm back at the beginning of the round so after our 20th round when we've gone all the way around with half double crochets you're going to slip stitch into the very first half double crochet and from this row onwards we are going to we are not going to be turning our work 
the turning was only for the hound's tooth stitch so since we are done with that we are no longer going to be turning our work around so we are going to round 21 and for round 21 you will chain up one and then go into the front loop only so this is the front loop that one that's where we're going to be placing our half double crochets so continue to do front loop only half double crochets all the way around so we have this loop sorry a stitch is made of this and this so all you're doing is yarn over and going through the front one only and then you have double crochet so go all the way around and do this and I'll meet you back at the end of round 21 so um, going through the front loop only is forming the brim of the hat this is the very first row of the brim so you can see that you can see what the hat is doing right now it's branching off from the main body of the hat so go all the way around and I'll meet you guys back when I'm at round 22 so we're coming to the end of uh, round 21 and I'm going to slip stitch into the very first half double crochet that we did and so we are done with the round of uh, front loop only and then uh, for the next row we're going to chain up one half double crochet in the very first stitch and half double crochet in the next two stitches so we have three half double crochets and then in the fourth you'll place two half double crochets and then one half double crochet in the next three stitches and then two half double crochets in the next so that's the repeat for this round so one in the next three and then two in the next so go all the way around repeating this pattern so I'm coming to the end of round 22 and I'm placing my one half double crochet in the next three stitches and then two in the fourth and that's it I'm going to go into the very first half double crochet with a slip stitch so you should notice that your heart is starting to branch out outwards so for the next three to four rows you're going to do plain half double crochet rows without any increases or decreases so go ahead and chain one and then you're going to do half double crochet rows without any increases or decreases for a total of three rows so whatever you prefer three to four rows so i'll meet you back when i have mine ready Um, so I ended up doing a total of 25 rows all together from the beginning of the bucket hat So here we are at the end of the 25th row I'm going to slip stitch into the very first half double crochet Then I'm going to chain one and cut my yarn So the only thing left right now is to weave in the ends but the general shape of the bucket hat is already achieved so um, my brim had a total of five rows so where the hat branches off it's a total of five rows so from here so that's how it is and you can style this bucket hat in different ways you can fold over the brim when you're wearing it 
or let it down so that's really up to you so um i hope you liked this tutorial make sure to give it a thumbs up if you did and don't forget to subscribe to my channel um i'll see you in my next video bye